Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Discord.js Pass series, uh, Discord.js version 12. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can make your own Discord bots. Uh, I mean, uh, pretty much it's another episode. This is the 8th episode, I believe. Or yeah, it should be the 8th episode. And yeah, let's see how is this going. The, today's video, we're gonna learn how we can make a cooldown for each of our commands. So each time we're gonna use a command. Uh, it's gonna give us a cooldown for that command so they won't spam the bot basically which is a very very cool feature i'm not gonna lie i really really like this feature uh it's just a pretty simple it's not gonna take a long time for like the other videos you just need to know a very very simple thing and i'm gonna explain it step by step and basically there's a there's a um, what is it called uh, there is a documentation in description you just need to click on that link and you will redirect to a link to the github and you need to just check the documentation and i put the code for each episode which is pretty much great basically that's how it is but before we start the video guys make sure to leave a like hit that subscribe button and follow me on twitter and twitch comment down below about your ideas for next videos because i really really need ideas for my next videos i and i am doing my best to actually continue making more videos like this also thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers this is so crazy and i really really appreciate all of your supports i love you all we were, we're gonna have a lot of updates in our channel basically we're gonna improve our um uh, video um, qualities and the server banner i mean the um uh, uh, youtube channel banner or some stuff like this we're gonna update a lot of things so yeah just make sure to join our discord server as well once again thank you guys so much this is a very perfect number we just halfway to the monetization which is perfect thank you guys again for all of your support and yeah let's get into the video so first thing first uh, we're just gonna see as you can see i have my index.js and we have the high digest if you don't know what are these you probably need to watch uh, the last episode that i made as you can see we made the command so each time you want to make a command you just need to put the file here and call it whatever name you want to call it so in today's video i'm going to do an example for my command so let's just say let's use the uh, let's make a command called cooldown.js so what we're going to do is you're going to get a sample from the other commands so as you can see i'm just going to change some of the settings here um it's a simple test of the Cool down command so that's how it is it's just a simple command that we're gonna use and we don't need any aliases by the way just gonna set a uh, cool down and we're done so basically what do we need to do in here is first thing first we need to do a set so uh, we're just gonna do a const and we're just uh, we're just gonna do a used uh, command that it's gonna detect the use command it's gonna do equal to um the use command is gonna be equal to a new dot a new set so we're just gonna do something like this and then we just need to do this one there we go so what do we need to do in here is we're just gonna do an f function so we're just gonna say f uh used command uh dot set was a uh, message dot author uh one author that id um the thing is gonna happen and i'm um, just gonna do an else function as well for this so there we go so there we go so basically that's it i know i believe that one of if you want to do a uh for other commands let's just say you want to do a uh, cooldown for a mute command you just need to do the sim sample i'm gonna teach you guys in today's video so just make sure don't worry about anything just follow my steps and um literally watch the video until the end so you will understand each one of the thing that i'm gonna do so basically i'm just gonna put this on has i forgot something so there we go so now so it's just it's some it's a very simple what is this what is this actually why are you doing this so if it's gonna detect that if we use the command and the command have a cooldown so let's just say we use the command one time and for the second time it's gonna give us a cooldown what is the message for this uh, that the cooldown is gonna happen so we're just gonna do a very very simple message i'm not gonna kill myself for we're just gonna do um message dot channel oh we can do message dot reply because it's better uh, we're just gonna do message dot reply you cannot use the command because of cooldown there we go so that's how it's gonna work out and the else function is the most important part because you should put your code in there so we're just gonna do a used uh command um dot um we're just gonna do set uh, we're just gonna do add and the add is gonna be something like this 
And uh, so basically what are we going to do in here uh, is we're going to first of all before we actually use this command We're going to put our command that we had for a mute or whatever you have in here top of the uh, Discord right over here uh, There we go in here. Let's just say you're using a mute unmute command you just need to copy all of the code and put it on the else function here And then after that you need to put something like this and you need to put message dot author dot id there we go and then what you need to do is you're just gonna do so basically if you do set uh timeout it's there we go it's automatically gonna do anything do, do something like this so what you need to do in here is you need to remove this uh command here as you can see um so basically for my command that we're gonna use for this video it's going to be a test command so i'm just gonna do message dot reply um uh you are not in a cool down anymore let's just do that i don't know it's just whatever let's just say that's the command here and i'm just gonna put a message for example and we, this is the important part because because we are going to set the timeout so let's just do something like this and right here we're just gonna put the timeout so let's put the timeout uh first of all this is millisecond this is not second so let's just say if you want to do 30 second or 20 second for 20 second you have to do 20,000, and you just need like one second is fine you just need to put 1000 and yeah that's how it's gonna work out so it's milliseconds and if you don't know how to use a millisecond it's just pretty simple you just need to do milliseconds to seconds uh, so it's gonna convert the milliseconds to the thing let's just say we're just gonna do um let's just say we're gonna do 10 and as you can see it shows the millisecond it's gonna convert it to this and there we go it's like right now it's 10 seconds actually but I think it's pretty simple. We just need to do do a Google search for this because literally uh, each second is 1,000 milliseconds, as we all know this. So right now we need to do use uh, command dot delete. So after the timeout finished, it's gonna message dot it's gonna remove the timeout and put message dot author dot id. Why we are using message dot author id is because when author is using that command, it's gonna save the author id and set the cooldown for that author id. If you don't set that, it's gonna set the cooldown for everyone, which is very bad, I know. So basically, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's all you need to do for the cooldown command. Let's just do it in a new terminal and check how is our bot is gonna work out. It should probably work fine. Let's just do something like this. Did I put it on a 10 seconds? Yeah, I put it on 10 seconds. Just put it on like... Five seconds because I'm just a tutorial, so you can put it anything you want. It's just a tutorial, so you can test that for five seconds. So cool down. You are not a cooldown anymore, which is pretty fine. So if I do again this, it's gonna say you cannot use this command because you're in a cooldown. One, two. If I use it right now, you're not in a cooldown. So each five seconds it's gonna do a cooldown for me, which is perfect. So if you wanna set the timeout for each one of your commands, you just need to do this pretty simple this code. Like literally, it's not gonna take any time and it's legit should work 100% there shouldn't be any errors trust me because there is something there's a lot of people that have another issue a lot of issues but they don't know they just copy the commands from my documentation to github and they don't even know what the hell is that please make sure to watch my videos completely because literally i'm taking time to make these videos for you guys to understand what is node.js and what is a discord.js this is very important to know. So basically, I explained each one of them in today's video. And yeah, hope you guys like this video. If you enjoy, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on Twitter and Twitch because I most of the time Twitch I stream in there and Twitter I post in there. If you have any advice, please like this. Also, you can join the description down below. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Peace, everyone. Keep yourself safe.